My book, um, well, it touches lots of issues. I try to address the structure of violence, the culture of violence, the direct violence. The book tries to look at uh, the causes, the magnitude of the vulnerability, the complexity of violence with a high school setting. I looked at high school as a case study in Ethiopia. It's a holistic and integrated approach of Ethiopian schools. And I, looked, I tried to look at the structure of violence uh, via institutes, the culture of violence, which uh, also touches uh, gender-based violence uh, due to different cultures. You know, we have culture of peace, but also we have violent culture in each country. And also the direct violence, which I categorize them into three uh, teams. The physical violence, which is very common in a high school setting in most parts of the world, physical fighting and uh, bullying, and also the verbal violence, which is most common in girls now with cyber violence or social media, you know, attacking uh, fake news, uh, spreading uh, false rumors. It affects the well-being of, you know, uh, girls or youth in a school. And also the invisible violence that are, that's common in high school setting. I have so many uh, graffitis in the book. Actually, it could be also one book chapter. Uh, it's, it speaks a lot. I mean, um, the graffiti that are written in school walls, in bathrooms, in the desks. So the, uh, it's also there. And uh, yeah, I touched so many issues. I tried to see uh, three schools as a case study, just, you know, as a sample. It was originally my PhD, and then later I changed it into a book. So uh, I picked two schools uh, in Addis, uh, based on the police reports. So what I did was I looked at 10 years of police data from the federal police of Addis Ababa uh, and the Addis Ababa police. And also I look at which schools have the highest incidence of violence. So Bole High School and Yekati Tasraulet, or used to be Manan, have the highest incidence of violence. So I looked at the schools and I studied them for about four years. So I was also studying and doing also observing, going to schools and interviewing students. So in total, about 545 uh, people participated, teachers, uh, parent teachers association, uh, students, of course, and police, uh, so many people involved, and I've interviewed them. And it's very interesting uh, finding. Uh, and uh, Addis is more or less a heterogeneous society, so it represents different religion, ethnicity, different identity. Makale is more or less a homogeneous society. Uh, so I picked at Ehwanes in Makale, um, meaning it's more or less orthodox, 90%, uh, orthodox Christianity and also Tigrayan. So, and also they are very close to uh, Eritrea. They are the first generation to witness uh, war, the violent conflicts, the daily. They were, in some cases, there were bombs dropped in the schools in the town, so they have witnessed that. They are the first generation to grow. So I really want to understand that as well. So I, I picked these three schools as a case study, but uh, it's deeper. You just look at the school as a case study, but it touched so many issues, the structure of violence related to institution policies. We have 70-30 approach. It's very detailed, which we cannot talk about it. I mean, uh, we'll take much time. And uh, of course, the culture of violence, um, gender, sexism, and, you know, uh, so many issues.